Good morning, everyone, and welcome again to our backyard. Today, I wanted to take you through um, the butterfly bushes that we have in the yard, and they're starting to bloom pretty nicely. As you can see here, I've got one that's really fragrant. I actually purchased this one a couple of years ago at Lowell's at the end of the season, and I put it in a pot, and let me get the tag here. This one is called Buzz Hot Raspberry, and it's been a very good butterfly bush for us. I guess because of the size of pot that I have it in, I'm gonna turn it over here. It's supposed to be four to five feet high and four to five feet wide, and I do not have it in the ground. As I have mentioned in prior videos i have a difficult time growing butterfly bushes here in the greater houston area because of all the rain that we can receive and butterfly bushes don't like to have their feet wet so after i've lost quite a few butterfly bushes that i planted in the ground i decided to try it again and put them in pots and i've had much better look luck with them in pots in my zone 9a garden in a very wet environment. It's hot and humid, um, but I, I think the issue is, is I can get too much rain that for, for their liking. So even though this isn't as, as big and bushy as it probably should be, it's been a real workhorse for us because both butterflies and hummingbirds love butterfly bushes in addition to other pollinators like bees. All right, let me go to the next one. My next butterfly bush is just starting to bloom. And this butterfly bush is called Dapper Lavender. And it is um, grown in Texas and it's got the most wonderful scent to it. Let me bring up its tag. These tags are always kind of cute. They're in the state, the shape of the state of Texas. This is a Budlia David II. And this shows that it should get about three to four feet tall. I have it in a pretty good sized pot and it is growing very nicely. Um, I love the smell of this butterfly bush. The um, blooms are kind of a, they are a lavender and probably out of all the scents, I like this particular butterfly bush scent the most. The next, butterf the next butterfly bush that I wanted to share with you is a dwarf butterfly bush um, from Proven Winners. And let me bring up the tag. This one is Lo and Behold Blue Chip Junior. And this one is just starting to prolifically flower. Again, I have these all in pots because I have so much better luck, um, as I mentioned, with, with butterfly bushes in the heat and humidity and lots of rain. The thing that I like about this one is it is really, really small, but it doesn't have small blooms. The blooms are just nice and large, and um, I'm pr I would like to actually get more of these. The next butterfly bush I want to share with you is also from Proven Winners, and this one is called Miss Molly. Let me bring up the tag. And the reason I really like Miss Molly is because I love, I'm going to get a little bit closer here, I love the color of her blooms. They're just a stunning scarlet scarlet deep scarlet color and they're bright in the sun and I've tried to grow Miss Molly in the ground this was one that I've tried a few times actually and she does not like the um, even in a raised bed and with um, all the suggestions to grow in clay soil she just did not like it and in my environment she's thriving in a pot so i'm going to keep her in a pot 
But what I have noticed with all of my pots is they don't get as large as they're supposed to or as they're advertised to get if they were um, grown in ground. The last butterfly bush that I have that I want to share with you is Miss Violet. And she is also from Proven Winners. And the Miss Violet, I don't think, gets enough sun because out of all my butter butterfly bushes, she is the least happy. And I think I am going to have to move her to get more success. But the reason I like Miss Violet in this different bed that I have on my north side that is in full sun, but it doesn't get quite the sun that the others get, is because I really want her here um, assisting with the pollinators. But I think she's telling me she doesn't like it. So thank you for joining me today as we talked about butterfly bushes. I do have my butterfly bushes in pots too close together here and I will be working on this south bed shortly and they will be moving to their new home. So don't be alarmed by seeing these bushes too close together. Um, but for the last oh, couple of weeks they've been close together just because I need to get the bed ready. But in any case, I am glad you joined me today. Um, butterfly bushes are wonderful shrubs to have in your yard that attract pollinators. Um, I consider them a staple in the butterfly and hummingbird garden. That's why I have taken pains to try to figure out how to grow them successfully here in the heat, humidity, and high rainfall totals. So again, thanks for joining me and I hope you all have a great day.